Friends over at Group Dentistry Now had a really relevant article talking about dental practices and how to how to position themselves for the looming recession that's coming downstream at some point, uh, timing to be determined, but at some point coming soon. And I thought there was a couple interesting things in the article that kind of jumped off the page at me that I wanted to highlight. And one of the things in that opening um, paragraph about dental practices today must implement technology that reduces costs, improves efficiency, centralizes operations. So having a cloud-based dental management software is huge. We made that pivot about five years ago and it was a great business decision for us, especially because we have multi-specialty providers. So having the ability to look at x-rays together, see the progress notes together in real time, and just having that access at the click of the browser has been huge. Though one thing that I found really interesting in the article is there's a couple main main premises to, to it. The first being the power of centralization. And, and I do think that that's huge. I think that there are are um, cost benefits to it. I think you can control the process more, so there's there is benefits to that. Um, the thing that I find interesting, though, is that's been very hard to do with the labor market that has been around since uh, the pandemic and even before that the pandemic. So I, I I think it's interesting now that some of the the philosophy or, or, or think is to go back to centralizing that power that had been decentralized and outsourced. Um, kind of at the start of the pandemic when the labor market kind of left and really hasn't rebounded. So I found that to be interesting. We try and centralize as much stuff as we can here at Lad Dental Group, but we are a group also that outsources outsources things too. So, and, and the second big part of the page is, uh, article is knowing when to outsource. So again, they still do talk about it. I just, I find it interesting that the whole philosophy of the last couple of years is to be able to outsource basically everything that you can given the disruption in the labor market. So I, I, I find it interesting that this recession might bring some of that back. And I do side note think the looming recession is going to help the dental labor market in a major way. So we'll see if that if that actually plays through. But that is my opinion, um, is that I, I do think that the recession, one of the, the few good things about a recession is it historically it does tend to increase labor participation. Um, and then the last thing in the article is empowering your data, because uh, again, it is very, very important to um, track again how effective are your marketing campaigns going how how well is your patient retention going how are your recalls going all of that stuff fundamentally is huge and as margins contract and everything else continues to get more expensive because of inflation all of these things are very very relevant and very important and I think uh, topics and discussions business owners and, and providers need to be having with their team because I, we are getting we're going back into a, an environment that uh, most people have not participated in I mean since the year 2000 it's been a crazy run up there was a couple bad years in there but really it's been it's been a 20 year bull market basically so it, I, I think some fundamental things are going to start to change so it's going to be interesting to see how the market adapts comment below of what you guys think